Pneumatic clamps have been part of production woodworking for a long time, but those systems haven't exactly been DIY friendly. Well, that's all changed thanks to Rockler's pneumatic clamping system. It's beginner friendly, and it can help you add up to four horizontal or vertical clamps like this per compressor to your home shop. Here's how. Generally, screw type clamps like these are great, and most of us woodworkers have dozens of them. But they can be slow to install or remove, especially on repetitive tasks. And depending on the clamping situation, sometimes their size just plain gets in the way. Well, that's where pneumatic clamps like these from Rockler could come in handy. They're tiny, but powerful, and they provide instant on-off clamping pressure. And that could be useful for any number of shop applications, including sanding, routing, other sorts of machining, and even some stages of project assembly. Now, if you're like me, I'd have no idea what to buy to add pneumatic clamping to my shop. But Rockler's horizontal and vertical clamp starter kits take the guesswork out of it because they include everything you need except for the air compressor. Each kit includes an adjustable regulator, a single double acting clamp and either a horizontal or vertical bracket for it, a switch, 10 feet of air tubing and air tubing brackets, and enough easy to grip knobs and T-bolts to secure everything, plus Rockler's simple step-by-step -step instructions. And for the air compressor, you don't need anything big or fancy. If it'll drive a brad nailer, that's all the compressor you need. This little one gallon model that develops 135 PSI is plenty of compressor for this setup. Here's how the kit's components work together. The air compressor connects to the regulator with a quarter inch NPT quick connect fitting. And the regulator is set for six to eight bars of pressure with this dial. It delivers air to the switch and the switch activates the clamp with these two air tubes to drive it up or down. The brackets for each of these three components and these blue tube brackets can be connected to Rockler's standard T-Track, which makes a Rockler T-Track table like this a really versatile way to set the system up however you need it to be. But the brackets also have holes for attaching to other work surfaces with number eight screws. The regulator and switch brackets even have holes for attaching to the legs of Rockler's Rocksteady shop stands. You don't need special tools to install this four millimeter air tubing either. Just cut it to length with the scissors. Push the end of the tubing into the quick connect fittings until it stops to install it. To disconnect, just push on the blue or white spring-loaded collars and pull. These clamps produce about 34 pounds of pressure, either downward or horizontally. And they automatically adjust to work pieces of different thicknesses up to about two inches without any adjustment required to the regulator. As long as it fits under the rubber clamping foot, the clamp will secure it. Rockler also offers expansion kits for this clamping system that include a clamp, a horizontal or vertical bracket, and another five feet of tubing. That way, you can connect up to four horizontal or vertical clamps together and use the same regulator, switch, and compressor. Then, it's up to your imagination to create pneumatic clamp setups that make your shop tasks easier. I'm using this one to help hold the styles for attaching face frames together with pocket screws. They're a really helpful third hand. And here, I've got two horizontal clamps oriented downward to hold workpieces on my mortising machine for cutting mortises. The clamps keep the workpiece from lifting up when I withdraw the mortising chisel. Why not let Rockler's pneumatic clamping system starter kits and expansion kits help you put a little more air power into your woodworking tasks? See the system at your local Rockler store or learn more at rockler.com. I'm Chris Marshall with Woodworkers Journal Magazine and Rockler, and thanks for watching.